Campbell River is a beautiful waterfront city, but storms, tides, winds and waves can damage the shoreline, leading to flooding and erosion. Climate change is causing the oceans to rise, accelerating this damage and increasing the risk to shoreline assets. In accordance with provincial guidelines, the city has begun planning for one meter of sea level rise over the next century. As aging infrastructure like Highway 19A is reconstructed, it will be designed to adjust to rising seas, as well water and sewer lines which run underneath. The city is planning for adaptation along the entire coastline, from the bluffs at Painter Barkley through to the exposed shorelines of Willow Point. Downtown, Robert Osler Park has already seen damage from high winds and waves. Computer modeling and engineering can predict how tides and waves interact with various shapes of shoreline. In today's conditions, high waves during storm surges can extend into the low areas of the park. With a meter of sea level rise, the waves can overtop the shoreline and flow into the lower areas of downtown. This storm at Davis Bay near Seashelt shows wave effects and overtopping. The water flows across the highway and pools into low areas. Water can't escape fast enough and buildings are flooded with damage to floors, walls, electrical and mechanical equipment. Buildings are evacuated by boat. In downtown Campbell River, if no action is taken, sea level rise will put Shoppers Row and part of the Cedar Street area at risk for similar inland flooding during storms. Some buildings already have higher main floor levels, and new buildings will need to be raised like this. At some point, more defenses may be required, such as lifting streets above the floodplain, with corresponding adjustments to remaining low floors. At the same time, improvements along the downtown waterfront could reduce wave overtopping and decrease flood risk. Extending the existing breakwaters could reduce wave effects at the shoreline, Raising seaside walkways and roads are also options to be considered. At some point, as the sea rises, it may be worthwhile to invest in pump stations to remove water from the low-lying downtown during heavy storm events. Camel River loves its sea walk and its views of Discovery Passage. The coastal habitat, the birds, and the salmon, and the many other species that the waterfront supports are central to the community's identity. Soft shore beaches with adjacent upland vegetation have the greatest habitat values, and gentle beach slopes reduce the run-up of storm waves. Steepening slopes with rock armor result in wave splash, which can overtop the rock. A seawall exposed to waves projects wave energy up and along the wall. Erosion of beaches often occurs below and at the end of rock armor and seawalls. The sand and small cobble gets pulled offshore. As construction takes place, we can seek to incorporate habitat features, while we raise buildings and sites and increase their setback to protect from wave-driven logs and flooding. With funding and senior government approval, we could consider offshore measures to reduce wave effects. In this example in the Bahamas, breakwaters and headlands were installed to reduce wave force and place sand enhanced the resulting more sheltered pocket beaches. In this Qualicum Beach example, beaches are a mix of cobble and sand with rock headlands to protect them. There are innovations that can protect the shoreline for decades, but sea level rise will continue for centuries and there will likely be a time when the best solution for some land uses in some locations is to avoid or retreat. Like Taiyi Spit, where parklands replaced residential uses, the spit is now much more resilient to flooding and storm waves, while there's much public use and enjoyment between storms. Adapting to sea level rise in Campbell River will be a gradual process that will need to be taken into account when buildings or infrastructure are scheduled for reconstruction at the end of their service. There is no one-size-fits-all solution, 
Adaptation will vary in different locations and will vary over time. We know that climate change is happening. We have the opportunity and the responsibility to plan ahead to adapt to the associated changes, including sea level rise, in Campbell River.